Hey, it's Marian. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come to you today with the 10 booktubers personalities tag, which was created by Alan Morton. And I was kindly tagged by the wonderful Brian at Bookish. Thanks for tagging me, Brian. And I'll get right into it. The concept is basically like there are a bunch of core booktube personality types and we are talking about which people sort of go with that type. So going to the first question, which booktubers underrate themselves? Um, also, I should say I'm sort of like breaking the rules in similar fashion to Brian in that I may mention more than one person for each prompt and some people would be fitting more than one prompt. So the first question is which booktuber underrates themselves? And for that, I'm going to say Alicia at Pretty Brown Eyed Reader. She's really gentle and kind and has a soft demeanor, but I think she may be underestimating her charm a bit. Also, we have Maya Korn at the Bookish Land. She comes across as modest as well, but possibly underestimating herself. She does really smart reviews and she's a wonderful source for Chinese literature recommendations. Question two is which booktuber doesn't take themselves too seriously? Well, I think others have mentioned Sean the Book Maniac, whose crazy bailing antics and self-mockery are just a small part of what makes his channel so much fun to watch. Also, Rick at another book vlog. He is serious about reading, but he's really a delightful goofball as well. He has a great series where he's reading uh, his own sort of aggregated list of greatest novels of all time and he's going through them on the occasional video to talk about like why is this book in the canon and is it worthy being in the canon. It's a great series. Also he's just back after a break I think so I hope he's going to be putting out more videos on the regular. Question three is which booktuber has an understated delivery? And for that I'm going to say Jacqueline from Six Minutes From Me. She's a voracious reader of literary fiction and a fair amount of memoir. She has a very calm delivery, but you can feel the sort of passion burning in her voice for her favorite books and writers. And I really appreciate her educating us about Australian writers and new American writers that I may, may have overlooked. Question four is which booktuber has a quirky rambling style? For that, I'm gonna go with Saeed from Books Are My Social Life. He is a PhD student in Trinidad. He's got a really casual conversational style. He just has energy to burn sort of mentally and physically you can feel. He reads a lot of literary fiction, also YA and a bit of commercial fiction, and he's been reading mostly women of color. He has a great recent discussion about why he finds himself seldom reading white male authors, and he's also a really good source for Muslim authors. So definitely recommend him, he's a lot of fun. Question number five, which booktuber reads highbrow literature? And there are a selection, but I'm gonna go with Ernestly Eston. He reads a lot of philosophy. He's had a series about Stoic philosophy. He reads the literature that often has sort of a philosophical, ca a philosophical cast to it, German literature, Hermann Hesse. He usually plans his reading th for the year around certain themes and subjects that he wants to explore. And he also has opera chats, which is arguably highbrow as well. He's been around a while, though he hasn't posted in about a month, and I hope that he's back soon because I really enjoy his voice. Question six is, which booktuber has a quiet demeanor? Again, I'm going to go with Ernestly Eston. He has a really sweet and friendly demeanor, and I always get a lot out of his insights and the way he does his book chats, which is more of an exploration of ideas rather than giving us conclusive readings or statements about books, and I really appreciate that. I also really like Leo from A Little Book Life. He's new, but taking off rapidly because he's been a member of the community as a commenter for quite a while. He is very quiet and learned feel. He's an impassioned, devoted reader. And I love going along on his very quiet vlogs in his area of the Netherlands and his recent trip to Amsterdam for buying books. I also really like Weena Wonders. She's a young fiction writer and poet. She lives in Manila. And I really love her insights and her sensitivity as a reader. And she's a wonderful source for Filipino literature. She has a wonderful back catalog of, literatures, uh, of videos on Phil Lit. And she posting is a little bit less often now because of her grad school work. But I think she has a recent video and I hope she'll continue on. She's been around for a few years, so I'm sure she is not going to be disappearing. But she's really great. Question seven, which booktuber has intelligence and depth? Well, again, many, many, um, I think fit that criteria for sure. 
Uh, but I'm going to go with Jen from Remembered Reads. She has a really smart and interesting mix of books. And I really appreciate the sensitivity she brings to her videos and her book discussions. She has a calm and measured style, as befits a Canadian, though her love for books and her curiosity totally comes through. And I love her videos. Question number eight is which booktuber is warm and friendly? Again, I'm sure we have no shortage of that actually on booktube. Uh, but I'm going to go with Chrissy from The Returned Cart. She reads a wide variety of genres, some of which are not in my wheelhouse, but I really don't care because she's just so friendly and funny and relaxed and pleasant that I enjoy watching her talk about anything, basically. She has an awesome blog and a podcast and other channel hosts who occasionally contribute to her videos. And also woman friendly, of course, is Karen from Run Right Reads. She's really warm and charming, and you can feel the emotional connection she makes to many of her reads, which really shines through. And I appreciate her touching on the crucial aspect of how books make us feel, which is another thing that I would say is true of Sean the Book Maniac. And she's a really incisive reviewer as well. Question number nine, which booktuber is self-deprecating? I'm going to go with booktuber Rachel Morrow. She's a bit self-deprecating, I think. She's a writer and also does authortube videos regularly. And she reads deeply in literary fiction, talking about titles like short story collections and Jewish American writers that I might have not noticed or are undersung or are under discussed on booktube. And, um, but I think she's a little bit self-deprecating. Question number 10, which booktuber has a quiet measure delivery? Well, that's true of a lot of booktubers as well. I would say that's true of Rachel Morrow, whom I just mentioned, and Andrea of Infinite Text. I love Andrea's voice. I could listen to her all day. I feel she has that sort of velvet tone, um, and I can feel that she has weighed her thoughts and her words out really carefully whenever she's talking, and that she is a person who has like important ideas to share with us. So that is it. Those are my 10 booktubers personality tags. And I think the idea here is that if you were mentioned in the video, you are tagged. So I will try to make sure that these folks know they are tagged, some of whom are probably have been tagged already. So multiple tagging going on. Thanks for watching. I hope to be back with you again with another video soon. Hope you're having an awesome weekend. Take care, guys. Bye.